Welcome back to BNG Hockey, where it's always black and gold. There hasn't been too much Bruins news this week. In fact, they've barely played, but I wanted to get a video up here on the channel for you guys, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a quick injury update before tonight's game. Let's get started. Biggest piece of injury news for those of you who might not have seen it, Nick Foligno is out of the lineup tonight and he's currently day-to-day -day with an upper body injury. Bruce Cassidy said after the Flyers game that he pulled something. Sounds like it's a bit more than a pull if he's going to miss game action, but you have to remember, it's a long season. It's all about maintenance for these guys, especially a veteran like Nick Foligno, and they're playing against the Buffalo Sabres. They're red hot right now, but if there was ever a team that I didn't think I needed my full lineup to beat, it's probably the Buffalo Sabres. So I'm all about them taking it slow with Nick Foligno and making sure he's healthy because so far, I think this guy has been very effective and he'll be a big part of their team moving forward. He's going to be reevaluated before the Sharks game on Sunday, so hopefully he's right back in game action and only misses a game or two. And I would really like to see Nick Foligno be healthy this year because I think it's going to be a big season and he's already got an assist on the board. Coming into the lineup tonight to replace him is Anton Bleed. We all know how I feel about him. He's not exactly going to bring what Nick Foligno brought, but he'll be effective on the fourth line. He's playing with Trent Frederick and Carson Kuhlman, who actually had a really good game against the Flyers. And Thomas Nosek will move up to Foligno's spot with Eric Halla and Jake DeBrusque. Couple of other quick lineup notes. It does sound like Craig Smith is going to play tonight, so that's good to see. He missed a practice after the Flyers game with a maintenance day. It's much easier to give these guys a practice off, see if they're healthy, and then throw them into the game. As I said before, it's a long season, and Craig Smith is a pretty key piece on that second line, so it's good that it sounds like we avoided an injury there with him. Another lineup change is Connor Clifton is out, and John Moore is in on the third D pair on the right side. That's not due to any injury. Clifton had a pretty tough game against the Flyers. Honestly, the entire decor did. So that's probably why they want to take a look at John Moore. I know some fans are probably wondering why he's playing when he just got waived, but he's still a very capable NHL defenseman. As I said before, it's going up against the Buffalo Sabres. So I'm excited to see John Moore play tonight. It sounds like he's pretty motivated after getting waived. He's had enough practice playing on that right side, and it's not like he's going to play that many minutes. So it's nice to get a good look because you never know if there's any injuries. Suddenly John Moore is playing in your top six and you want to know if he's ready to go. We'll also see Linus Olmark making his first start of the regular season. You always love seeing a guy play against his old team. I think that's really going to help motivate him. He had a really bad preseason so far and I know some Bruins fans have been pretty hard on him. Let's give him a chance. Wouldn't be surprised if he goes out there and gets a shutout against his old team and you know he really wants to bounce back after that preseason and I'm still very excited to see what he can do as a Boston Bruin. Lastly, you've probably heard it by now, but the game is only on Hulu or ESPN Plus tonight. I know if I was expecting to come home and just turn on Nessun, I'd be pretty frustrated if I can't find it, so I figured I'd say it here on the channel so I can save some of you guys who maybe didn't know that it would only be on those streaming services. Let me know if you like short videos like this. I try to upload at least once a week for you guys. Leave that down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big like. If you haven't already, subscribe.